Hello, hello everyone. It's Allison from Determined to Shine, where we use the magic formula of creativity, spiritual connection, and community to bring forth joy in our lives so we can have hope and shine on. <laughs> okay, I am here today with a first look at the Vox Arcana Collective Deck. Now, I know next to nothing about this deck. I saw a preview of three cards in the Llewellyn catalog. They sang to me, so I went for it. I could find no previews. I could find, like, no information. So this is, like, pretty blind. I have almost no idea what I'm getting in for here. So I decided this would be a really fun one to do an unboxing with. I do know I saw one other person post on Facebook, and she loved it. And I promised I would do a video. So when mine came in, which it just did um, like 20 minutes ago, and I just opened the box and now I'm going to pause and cut the plastic because we know that if I do that on camera, it will take 20 minutes. Okay, plastic off. So this is the box. I'm going to slide the top off. I don't usually like boxes that have the tops come off because when I grab them off the shelf, sometimes the bottom just falls out. This is a big modern witch problem. Um, with my Modern Witch Tarot, but it is a pretty tight fit. I'm curious if it will still be tight after the plastic wrap is off. So again, hold while I cut plastic wrap. Okay, no more plastic wrap. Um, we are going to look at the guidebook quickly just to see um, if there's anything I can learn about this deck before we go in. Um... Okay, so this says that there are 82 images um, by 82 artists, so it is a collab deck. Um, and it says, um, it looks like there is a description for each card, um, the meanings. I'm wondering if there was like a, a specific kind of goal with the deck. I'll have to look. And then we've got some... Um, let's see. So the elemental cards, which are the two extra cards, which can be read from both sides, providing a total of four additional cards. So these are for earth, air, fire, and water. Um, it says traditional reader may decide to discard these cards and not use them, but here are ways you can use them. Okay. So here are our elemental cards. Very cool. Um, then otherwise, it looks pretty standard, um, different uh, spreads. Oh, here we go. This is kind of what I was looking for. Um, okay, I'm going to read this and pause, and then I'll summarize. Hold, please. Okay, I'm caught up. So basically, like many collaborative decks, um, they wanted a chance to... Focus on, I guess, what, how it was described is, like, what's different about each card. Whereas in a deck where all the cards are made by the same artist, you inevitably see different themes move throughout the deck, right? Like, in the Journey of the Fool and in those different cards in the minors from card to card, they can often tell a story, which is awesome. But the goal of this deck was to kind of veer from that and focus on what brings each card alive and makes it different. Like we are all different. So that's kind of cool. Um, other thing that I thought was kind of cool, they called the deck corrector, collect, deck collector, deck creator, or um, the um, coordinator, um, who was Gian Lorenzo Favazzi, forgive my name, bashing there if I got that wrong. I'm sure I did pronunciation wise. Um, kind of thinking of him as the conductor of the orchestra. So in the back, there are credits of each artist, but also what was neat was they asked each artist to provide a song um, that related to the um, card. And they said the list is incomplete because not every artist elected to do that. But um, I love pulling music in with my tarot, so I'm very excited to see like how these songs fit with the cards. So that's like another fun bit there. So, okay, that's what I pulled from the guidebook in my like three minute reading while I paused that. Now, let us look at the cards. We've looked at the elements. This is the card back. Um, This is actually 
It's glossy, but this is pretty solid cardstock for Los Carabeo. Nice, nicely done. Um, I believe the fool was on top. Yep, so let's take a look at these cards. Again, I have not seen them. This is my first impressions as well as yours. So I'm going to zoom in just a hair. Okay. All right. Jester, we got a dog and a little crazy cat. That's very humorous. Oh, I love this magician. Um, she reminds me, <laughs> my first thought was she reminded me of Carmen Sandiego. Is that, is that like really silly? I know Carmen Sandiego was all red, but there. <gasps> Oh, wow. Wow, I love this High Priestess. She might be one of my favorite High Priestesses I've ever seen. I feel like I say that a lot with decks, but oh, oh, look at this Empress. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I have to confess, when I saw the one Facebook post of the person who had unboxed this, she was like, I gasped at every card, and I always can't stand it when someone on YouTube is like gasping at every card, but now I get it, and I'm like, oh no. Because I'm always the gasper. <laughs> and here we go. It's happening. It's happening. We'll see. We'll see. Collab decks are always an interesting experience. This is gorgeous. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with this Empress. Awesome Emperor. <gasps> wow. Very unique Hierophant. Look at these like alien bunny, Yuna, triple corn, triple corns. I don't know. Beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful lover's card. I'm feeling it, you guys. I'm here for it. Oh, man. This is a gorgeous chariot. That makes me want to cry for some reason. The chariot is um, one of my birth cards and very, very special to me. And that is everything I need in a chariot. Gorgeous strength card. This is awesome because this is a, a collab deck. You know, every every card is a different artist, but they do feel like they fit together. And I struggle with collab decks when the, the, the style from one card to the next is so jarring that I can't make sense of it. But this is really, really amazing. Wow, look at this justice card. Mmm... Beautiful hanged man. Oh, wow. Death. Gorgeous. Beautiful temperance. I'm here for this. I love this energy swirling around. Um, the background feels to me like she's in a seashell. I don't know that that's intentional, but that's how I'm seeing that in this moment. Devil. Very intense as always. The Tower. This is one of the cards that was one of those three cards that was in the catalog preview that I loved. Um, the Tower is my other birth card, and that's really intense. And I just thought of a person falling because especially like I've had a lot of Tower moments in my life from, you know, hey, I'm a widow and I was 31 and getting MS and those are like only the two big ones. There were some other ones too that were also very large, but, um, and, and I literally do fall like with my MS, like kind of a lot. So, um, I just really liked that depiction. This is amazing. Loving, loving this. I love swooshy hair on cards. I can't in art in general. I gotta say, love me some swooshy hair. All right, sorry, we had a bit of a camera malfunction. We're back. Um, Moon, very, very beautiful. I love the color here. And again, these kind of bands of really energy and light swirling around are gorgeous. This is very powerful. Mm, I love that, sun. Wow. This might be one of my favorite, certainly, collab decks I've ever had. I'm really digging how unified this deck feels while still being collaborative and this world card is rocking mine i'm here for it ace of cups gorgeous i'm loving seeing some cultural diversity in here um uh, this is a two of cups oh this is fascinating 
It's really beautiful. Yeah, I'm loving the cultural diversity. There could be more, of course, but we're also just barely in. Um, but there is some, which is a nice, um, it's all a little body beautiful so far, which I'm okay with, but it's just worth noting, you know, but, um, this is awesome. Four of cups, very little mermaid to me, almost five of cups. Hello. This is intense. This is a really intense five of cups with the blood spilled and the water and the, wow. And then look at these two shining cups. Can't see them. Six of cups, my alley card. Loving it. Super different approach. I'm loving the winged animals coming through and just this, um, you know, I think of the six of cups as this card of childhood, right? And what I love about this is, um, this card is looking down at me, right? So like if I'm a kid, I'm down here, I'm shorter. So I feel very childlike when I look at this card because it's like looking up at an adult and we often, um, or an ancestor, but I feel like we, we lose that perspective as we get older. Seven of Cups. This is really a very cool rendition of that. Loving the flip on that card. Eight of Cups. This is the first one I feel like maybe feels really different aesthetically, but I still like it. Nine of cups, gorgeous. 10 of cups. This is awesome. Page of cups, Knight of cups. Is she riding a flamingo? Cause that is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, this queen of cups. I am here for her. That's so beautiful. These are really, really beautiful cards. I'm so excited that I took a chance on this deck because I have not been buying decks blind anymore. Like I've been trying to really be very intentional with the cards that I purchase and choose to bring into my collection. And so it was rare for me because I didn't have as much um, insight, Six of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, I, um, you know, I just didn't know as much going in. So love this nine. So I definitely feel like the different art styles are coming out more and more as we get into the minors here. Um, this almost looks very like video game art to me that I don't mean that as an insult. It just has that like magical quality to it. Love this Queen of Pentacles a lot. That's gorgeous. Yeah, so the art style, I feel like, is definitely starting to get more and more diverse. This is gorgeous. Um, still very body beautiful. Nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying. Ooh, look at that card trying to go a little bit faster. That almost looks like the same guy. Like it's two different artists, but okay. Oh, this is awesome. Remember what I said about flowy hair and energy, light energy? That's, that's a big, big, that might be my favorite card in the deck so far. I'm not sure. Page of Wands. I love this Knight of Wands. It's actually just like super fun. <laughs> really beautiful queen. And the king. And into swords. Wow. All right, that's our two. Oh, this is interesting. Unique take on the three. Wow. This, this haunts me a little, like, I can feel the heartbreak coming out of that card. Four. Six and seven. And of course, here is my eight, nine, ten. I always say those cards matter to me in a deck when I'm choosing it. Again, I couldn't see it ahead of time. So there's my eight. Um, so I feel like she, this character is obviously kind of coming out of the Eight of Swords, how we traditionally see it. Like we're used to seeing that figure more bound 
but having the ability to free themselves. And so in this case, she's kind of taking that action. Um, I visually love this Nine of Swords. Um, my only complaint here would be this doesn't, to me, capture that anxiety and worry that I normally feel from that card. Again, this feels a little bit more empowered than I'm used to from the Nine. Oh, not from the Ten, though. <laughs> um, oof, yeah, that's... That's an ending. And then, of course, our court in the swords. Very traditional looking page. Very non-traditional looking knight. Our queen of swords. And our king. Okay, so those are the cards. Um, wow, I have, I, have a lot, I have a lot of feelings about this deck. Um, I'm definitely glad I got it. Um... The majors in particular, I feel like, were very beautiful and the most united. Um, those are those element cards. Um, and, like, these two cards especially really sang to me. Um, uh, that chariot, as I'm just, like, looking through these again. The death and the temperance, really beautiful. Ugh, star. Yeah, like, I, I love, love, loved some of these majors. The minors, um, you know, I like these a lot, too. There's some more hit or miss for me in here. Like, there's a couple that I think are amazing. There's a couple that I feel like veer from the deck really far. Um, this card, body-wise, has some choices that surprise me. <laughs> Two of them, perhaps, if you know what I mean. Um... But I loved this three of wands. So I think this is a really beautiful deck. I'm super glad I got it. Um, and I'm curious to know what you guys think. So leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, yeah, I'm excited to to interview this deck and read with it and just kind of see, see how it talks. And of course, to play with that song list in the back because I think that's... Um, going to be really nice as well. And I'm just hoping box wise that, um, yeah, it is kind of a tight fit. So kind of have to see, but mm, in my bag, I think that's still going to come apart. So this will probably have to get bagged, um, go into a drawstring pouch, which is fine. Cause I've been making lots of them, lots and lots and lots and lots of them. And so I'll just, I'll just whip up another or grab one from my collection here. So that is the Vox Arcana. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, feel free to, or if you didn't, you know, hey, leave me a comment, leave me um, a like if you enjoyed this video. I definitely invite you to subscribe. Um, we have a lot of really fun content here on Determined to Shine from deck walkthroughs and reviews to art projects and just all kinds of ways to connect with your, um, your spirit and yourself and just other ways to shine in the world. So remember, of course, that you are loved and the world is better because you're here. And I'm so thankful you took time today to spend with me watching this video. And I hope that I see you again next time. Until then, may you always remain determined to shine. I love you, love you, and we'll see you guys soon.